Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today is Monday, November 18th, and in just less than four days now, at the time of recording this video, that is, Microsoft will release their all new Xbox One console to the public on Friday, November 22nd. So in this video, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of Microsoft's all new controller for their upcoming Xbox One, and kind of give you guys a comparison against Sony's DualShock 4 controller for their PlayStation 4, which was released last Friday, so November 15th, exactly one week before Microsoft plans to launch their Xbox One. So I went to GameStop today and I saw an Xbox One controller and I figured, well, I might as well just make a video on it now ahead of my unboxing this Friday. So let's take a quick look at this box and then, of course, we will unbox the controller. On the front, it simply has a picture of the controller. It says Xbox One at the top. It also says wireless controller at the bottom. We have an Xbox logo over here on the left hand side and on the right it just talks about the wireless controller and what's included so two AA batteries now flipping it over on the back here it just gives you a brief overview of the controller it says elevate your game feel the action like never before with impulse triggers and get precision and comfort with redesigned thumbsticks so without any further ado let's go ahead and unbox this controller I'm just going to cut through that piece of plastic and now we should be able to slide the top off and there we go, we have the controller. We actually opened it backwards, but oh well, that's fine. Here it is. Here's the controller for the upcoming Xbox One. I'm going to set the box off to the side and we'll go over it. But before we do, once I took the box off to the side, I noticed that it also came with these three things here. And if I would have opened it like a normal person, I would have seen it. So it comes with a two day trial for Xbox Live Gold. It also comes with a brief quick setup guide and some important product information that we're not really going to go over. So setting all that to the side, let's take a closer look at the controller. And here it is. Let me just tell you guys that my initial impression is it's definitely improved. And sliding off the top here reveals the battery compartment, which is definitely an improvement over its predecessor. I'm sure as all of you know, previously the Xbox 360 controller had a huge bulge in the back where the batteries would go. Well, now we have a recessed battery compartment. And I'm just going to open these batteries and put them in the controller really quick and we'll try to turn it on and see what happens. So here we go. Now that the batteries are inserted into the Xbox One controller, I've pushed the button up there at the top, which has now moved from the middle, again, to the top, and it is flashing. Of course, it won't connect to anything because I don't actually have an Xbox One. We'll know more on Friday, and maybe I'll give you guys a demonstration then. But for now, let's just take a quick look at the controller. So at this point, I'm sure many of you have heard that this new controller features over 40 improvements to the Xbox 360 controller. Of of course, I'm not familiar with all of them. I don't claim to be an aficionado on the Xbox One by any stretch of the imagination, but just by holding it so far, I can tell you that the controller feels different. It's more ergonomic and it fits better in the hand. It's also lighter than its predecessor, so the Xbox 360 controller. The buttons have been moved slightly. ABX and Y are closer together. The triggers are now what Microsoft's calling impulse triggers that should provide haptic feedback in addition to the regular rumble of the 360 controller. We also have an improved D-pad over here. The joysticks are also revised. They have a slightly different recess to them. They also have some texture around the edges that are supposed to make them easier to grip. And we have two new buttons over here on the left and the right of the main center button. It looks like one may actually be for multitasking or switching windows, whereas the other one may be for a menu button. Again, I'm not completely 100% sure at this time. If you guys know though, feel free to leave the answer down below in the comment section. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at this controller compared to Sony's all new DualShock 4 controller, which is definitely revised over the DualShock 3 controller. So DualShock 4, there are tons of great things about it, and it also retains that same iconic design of its predecessors. So you'll see some similarities here with previous versions of PlayStation controllers. However, you will notice that there are some major revisions too. Most notably, we have this touchpad here in the center, and not too many games take advantage of this right now, but we should see some really great integration with games in the future. We also have two buttons on the left and right, share, which is completely 
the new and options, which is kind of like menu. You can also access more of a traditional menu with the PlayStation home button here down below at the bottom. It also, of course, has a speaker below the touch sensitive area and its joysticks are directly across from one another, whereas the joysticks on the Xbox One controller are offset. Also, it's worth noting that right out of the box, you can plug the DualShock 4 controller and you'll instantly have the ability to play it wired and charge it. Whereas the Xbox One ships with two AA batteries out of the box and you'll have to upgrade if you want that plug and charge functionality that you'll find on something like the DualShock 4 controller. Microsoft sells an option and they will sell an option day one launch it is $24.99 here in the US and it just comes with a standard micro USB cable and also a battery pack that you can plug in and you just connect the micro USB cable to your controller and then the other end to your Xbox One you'll be able to charge it or play it wired. So I hope you guys liked this video. Just a quick look at Microsoft's all new Xbox One controller compared against Sony's DualShock 4 controller. They're both really great and I can't wait to get my hands on the Xbox One to test it out. So far I've absolutely loved the PlayStation 4 and if you guys wanna see my unboxing video of the console, just be sure to check it out. I'll have an annotation on the screen if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. If not, you can find it simply by visiting my channel. Now, I also just want to mention that designing the Xbox One controller took a considerable amount of effort from the team. They reportedly developed over 200 different prototype controllers, and they supposedly tested it for about 500 cumulative hours across 1,100 people. So hopefully it lives up to all the designing and testing that was put into it. We'll definitely know more on Friday once the console's released. And of course, if you want to see my unboxing video of the all-new Xbox One, just be sure to stay tuned. And if you're interested in any of the giveaways I currently have going on, being my iPad Air and second generation iPad mini giveaways, just be sure to check out the respective unboxing videos. Both of those giveaways will be concluding soon. And if you want a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, Posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I post new videos, my Xbox One unboxing, or jailbreak updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.